Hi, and welcome to my Star Wars Episode 9, The Rise of Skywalker, the final trailer, my reaction, I don't care, okay, I don't care. Last year, I did, last year, toward the end of uh, uh, December of 2018, I did my top 10 picture pay movies of 2019, those are the movies that I were most excited to see, and Star Wars Episode 9, Roger Skywalker, was not on there. Okay? And, um, now, I'm a fan, I'm a fan of Star Wars, I grew up watching Star Wars, the original trilogy, and then grew up watching the prequel. Star Wars, Star Wars. Uh, now, I will tell you why I don't care. If it comes out there, I don't care, that means I will not go see it. And at the end of the trailer, if that ticket don't sell now, that means I'm going to rush out and go see it. And on the internet, it's saying that it's the most picture paper of the phone. And my most anticipated movie of, of, of the fall, from September to the end of uh, December, and my most anticipated movie. I ready to go see Joker, ready to go see Batman and Double Tap, ready to go see uh, Knife Out, ready to go see uh, Terminator, The Fate. My most anticipated movie of uh, the fall of 2019 is, uh, you know, the Mr. Rogers movie. You are my friend. Okay? And that would be a movie where you can go see it, enjoy it, get emotional, enjoy it, and you know, think good thing about it. Um but whereas whereas the new Star Wars movie seven Seven and eight, episode, episode seven and eight, people had mixed reviews on it. Some like seven, some did, some like uh, episode eight, and some were picked off. It butchered and ruined my childhood. But for me, um, I've been reviewing all the Thorin movies for y'all, and I'm, I'm up to episode, uh, episode, uh, Seven the fourth away, and be before um before epi episode nine comes out, I will review uh the fourth away, row one, solo, and then I get that all of them. Now until before episode nine come out, I will uh watch them in order. Starting with the New Hope and going all the way through uh, the Last Jedi and seeing if Last Jedi uh, made a man pitch me on saying, "Oh, run my childhood," like some fan did, did said it did. Okay, because if you look on the Rotten Tomatoes, they got like a ninety-one percent. I think the, I think the audience gave it like what, a forty-four percent. So. Um, okay, um, uh, I only seen the last Jedi only one time. That, I only saw that one time only in the theater. I never saw it again. The Fourth Away, I saw it a few times. I think like, maybe one, like two or three times in the theater, maybe at least two times in the theater. Uh, one or two times after it came out of the theater. Um, so, I will rewatch all of them and see if, um, see if, uh, after I go see the, the, um, the, um, Star Wars Episode 9 about the Skywalker, see if, um, Disney really purchased Star Wars and run my childhood. 
Okay, because I know that when The Last Jedi came out, a lot of diehard fans that grew up with the original trilogy, they, they watched the prequels, and they watched 7 and 8, and when, when episode 8 came out, they said, oh, butcher, with my childhood. But I'm going to see if, where, where do I stand with, with the new Star Wars movie. Okay, so before I review 7 and 8, I gotta go back and rewatch all of them in order. Okay, before I can before I can review uh, seven and eight and solo and World well, one. Okay, I think fan didn't really have that much problem with solo and World well, one and much as seven and eight. But uh, so uh, but for me. I just don't care because uh, I I would be much excited and prefer if they were made if this December if we were getting a Obi One a Star Wars story played by you know throwing a um, Yuga McGregor and that would come out this, this December. Oh man, I would be pumped up and tired. Cause he's the best thing about the prequel. Uh, hello there. And him fighting Dark Maul. Man. I wouldn't see that then. Then, uh. Uh, episode 9. But, but on the, on the main reason why, um, that I will go to episode 9 is because, um, I think uh, Billy D. William and Lando are coming back in. And I'm curious to see hopefully Dindy and them and JJ Abram do him justice. And, uh, but I remember when I, when I saw episode 7 in the series, I had problems with Marie. And then when I saw episode 8, I had problems with Marie. But, uh, I remember when I went when I watched Solo and Rogue One, I didn't have that much problem with the movie. So, uh, when I go back and watch uh, Seven and, and Eight, so I can redo my uh, review of it, because I always review all the other Star Wars movies. Uh, episode One, Two, Three, Four, Five, and Six, and that's up on my channel, except for um, The Fourth Away. The Lab Jedi, Solo, and World One. I gotta watch all those so I can give you my my opinion and see which one I, which one out of the new one the, by Disney. I like which one to make me mad, which one I think okay and stuff. But um uh so but for me and my personal opinion, episode nine not my more pick pay movie uh of the fall of 2019, I'd rather go see, I'd rather, rather go see, uh, uh, you, you are my friend, Mr. Roger Murray, uh, going top hand with Mr. Roger, or Terminator, or Fate, or Knife Out, with, with Captain America and, uh, and Game Bond, if you know what I mean. Uh, so on and so forth. And, um, but, who knows? Episode 9 might be a lot better than some of the other Disney movies, Star Wars movies, that they made. And so, thank you for watching. And, uh, why can't, why can't we all be like Mr. Uh, be like uh, Fred Roger and just get along? And if you like my Reaction to the final trailer for Star Wars Episode 9 The Life of Skywalker Let me know in the comments down below If you hit my channel, hit the like button and subscribe And may the force be with you Thank you